And there's an ancient legend in the Rig and in Harva Vedas about the stolen cows, the sunspots that go missing for long periods of time. And the legend is that the cows were stolen and hidden in a cave by some demons called the Panties. And the Panties are considered to be these uh, greedy type of uh, individuals who um, steal the cows and hide them in the cave. And then when the cows emerge again uh, from the cave, the, uh, the light of the Rishis is again present. We usually think of the technology of the ancients as being antiquated and inferior to our modern technology. Unfortunately, Western society doesn't realize that this technology, the technology that we have, the technology that I am using to create this message, came through that mechanism, moves through that higher order intelligence to manifest and the missing solar cycle, the missing sunspot cycle is a symptom of the corruption and of the evil and greed that is manifest in our culture and this knowledge, this power, the gifts that humanity has been granted will be revoked unless we are able to use this understanding in a compassionate and productive way. These black spots on the sun are invisible to us because of the relationship that we have with the sun. They represent a sort of energy, a sort of light that connects through the sun to other times and other spaces. This light is part of our collective consciousness. This light connects our minds through time and is the source of the creativity and productivity in our world. It allows us to realize the dreams of our ancestors and understand the path of our future. And it seems really ironic to me that Western culture has lost this understanding about the nature of these uh, mechanisms and how they relate to the physical presence the physical observable phenomenon that exists on the Sun. On October 14th, the new cycle started again with the first significant energy from the new solar cycle with the spot crossing the, the very front, the very nearest part of the Sun. And this uh, 1005 uh, sunspot number that we've given it for cycle 24 is the first spot to face the earth and it, it was directly on the face in front of, of the earth on October the 14th and while the the energy that this spot was giving off uh, was not a, uh, in the form of a coronal mass ejection. It wasn't in the form of uh, an energetic release that would have uh, created um, a significant light on the earth um, other, than, other than our normal uh, presence. Um, certain people can feel this. Certain people are tuned in to this energy and understand um, how it comes forth and they seem to be in communication with uh, 
higher order, higher dimensional entities who understand it more profoundly than we do, uh, perhaps more profoundly than, than humanity ever will understand it. A lot of people are very closed-minded. A lot of, uh, especially a lot of scientists, uh, consider themselves of superior intellect, of superior intelligence, and they think that they're the ones who are in touch with reality, and our modern uh, psychiatric institutions really don't take well uh, to the shaman or to shamanism, um, at least most of them. And I think the 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 bigger issue here, the more serious more serious problem that I think we are facing as a culture is the degradation of the capacity, the degradation of the potential of our species due to this closed-minded, uh, militant, um, uh, oppressive uh, mindset that, that tends to really spoil the potential for our development and our higher understanding of the nature of the world. And if you think about what Richard Dawkins said about the nature of the universe, um, how much of a chance are we going to have understanding this universe that may be queerer than humanity can suppose um, when we aren't even open to the possibility that some higher uh, order of intelligence has a hand in creating our world. And I'm not saying that it does. I'm just saying that I think to close your mind to that potential is a serious, serious mistake.